Okay. Two more bosses. Boyer and Punchinello. Punchinello, who I believe to be a silkworm, because that's what's coming out of his ass. I hope that's silk anyway. A Bruce Lee reference. I do find it a little weird that Brandon Lee and his father, Bruce Lee, died in the same fashion. I smell conspiracy, but let's not get into that. And Gino makes his presence felt. I only included the introduction to this fight just because it is one of the more amusing scenes in the game. Uh, this fight took roughly three minutes, I think. Would have been over a lot sooner, but you will see why this fight can just be drug out for as long as humanly possible. And Mallow Ball down. Okay. Hurry up. I can... they, he ran all that way up there, and yet, when you look at it from their other point of view, it just looked like they could just, just simply walk up there. Unless they jumped up a tree or something. I don't know. Quite a few loopholes leading up to boss fights sometimes. Now Gino recognizes who Mario is. We know about you, and as if Mario knows what Gino is talking about, which he doesn't, he just nods his head. Okay. Gino starts out relatively strong. Not that much health. He will be taking the most damage out of all three of your characters just because he does not have anything equipped. Alright, this is the reason why this fight can just go on a lot longer than it should. Because he can disable whatever buttons you want, or he wants, on the control pad. So now I cannot use physical attacks. I have to use special. Which really isn't that bad. Mallow's not really helpful this time around, unless he's using hit point range. Or using an item. And I attempt to super jump here. I will be doing that a lot more often later on, so just keep that in mind. And I really do suck at doing the super jumps. I can't even remember the most I've ever done. I think 37, I think, is my best. I love Gino's moves. The later ones he'll learn will be very helpful. Especially one, which I believe he learns at level 11. 11 or 12. But it will be very helpful. And I think anyone who's played this game knows what I'm talking about. It's just really sad that you just can't use it on every enemy in the game. Well, that would probably make the game too easy, probably why they did that. Uh, if you have not watched my test video, I made a mistake at the sunken ship about the safety ring and whatnot, getting it from Heat On. Heat On does not drop the safety ring, he drops the safety badge. The safety ring is just a few rooms 
away, I made a video on it. I just haven't uploaded it yet. I'll upload it and it'll be like preparation for Johnny. Because it will help significantly. Yeah, you psychopath. He, he, he has been taking abuse. I was wondering how much he had left. It turned out it was only 16. Yeah, as you can see, uh, he, Boyer's not really that tough. Although I would recommend you carry frog drinks, they are very helpful. Screw the mushrooms, get the frog drinks. Which you can buy at Tadpole Pond. Or elixirs, if you've got the Alto card from Toad of Sky. 20 experience, 50 coins, and a flower box. And Punchinello is up next. And here, if you approach him from the front, which I just demonstrated, he will just push you back. So watch out. So get behind him, stick your thumb in his butthole, and initiate combat. Punchinello is the only boss in the game that is not associated with Smithy whatsoever. He's just here with his own agenda. He is very weak against jump attacks, but I forgot to equip uh, jump shoes. Yeah, he's very weak against the jump attacks, but only if you have the jump shoes. I forgot to equip them. I do forget to equip a lot of them. He will see later on. He will throw these different variations of bombs out. First phase, he will throw these little ones out, which pose no threat. So you can just ignore them or take them out with a thunderbolt. The next ones he summons are the normal bot arms. They just well, they're just like the ones you faced earlier on in the mine. And then you get the gigantic ones, which I believe do not make any other appearances after this point. All right, he's gonna start summoning the normal ones. Which oh, I thought. I thought there's only three of them, but he has four. Use Thunderbolt to try to wipe them all out. If it's power level, you should just take them out in one, but I didn't spend all that much time leveling this time around. got a boss fight before this one. It's the second round with Croc. I forgot to upload it. I'll just put it in the next one. It'll work out anyway. I think the next boss... ...is Bunt. No way. We gotta go to Booster Tower next. So... I do believe the next boss fight will actually be a booster. Yes, I'm actually going to fight him. He's optional, but I just want to show how big of a pussy he really is. Some people say that he is just really, really tough. And I'll point out why he isn't when we get there. But I promise I'll get the second round with Croc in next video. I already made the video, and I don't really want to feel feel like going back and redoing it again, so I'll just include it. The next one wouldn't have room for him anyway. And here they call his bluff, which really isn't a bluff, although it appears like one at first. You do not gain any experience for coins for this boss fight which really doesn't matter. I'm sure he wouldn't leave a significant amount. Yeah, they sit there and wonder what the fuck to do. And they finally conclude that, that they should run, but a little too late. Yeah, like blocking's gonna do you any good against a gigantic ass bomb, Gino. Well, this is been a wonderful experience. This is also the end of part three. I will see you guys next time. Lloyd Magnus, out.